What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. And if you're new, I hope you're considering subscribing. And if you're returning, make sure to like, share to your friends, family, whoever. As you can see, I am putting together my turbo down pipe. And man, I'm really excited, especially practicing with my new welder that I had got from Harbor Freight. Everything turned out good, but it don't look that great. Uh, it looks pretty crappy, but it's still going to hold uh, for what we need to do. It's not go it's going to be covered up anyway. So, I mean, why not? So, let's get into it. And if you want to start off welding, I'm telling you, go to Harbor Freight, get you the Chicago Electric, and you can practice with this, um, and you can just get comfortable as you go. This is a pipe. In order to connect it, you have to weld it together. That is a shitty world, as you can see. So guys, it's not perfect, but you know, practice make perfect. Um, like I said, this is a shitty world. <laughs> so guys, this is my welded exhaust. Uh, it's not perfect, it's pretty, you know, crappy, but you know, it'll work. We made sure we had deep penetration and all that. And then this the turbo right here. It's gonna be coming out the hood. I did want to come out this way, but I got this oil catch can here and this uh, overflow uh, coolant tank. Um, if I thought about it before, um, it would have been coming out on the side and would have been looking clean. It would have been looking like, I don't know, it would have just been looking raw in here, to be honest, but stay tuned. Okay guys, so we mounting up the turbo, finna uh, mount my O2. A bunk. Um, I'm putting 24 inches away from uh, the turbo, which will be about here in this area. Um, we should be able to save this down to like the appropriate size, um, and then yeah, that should be it. So, and it's stout, like it's literally stout without no bracing, but we are gonna brace it. Um, I don't know how I probably put a bracket in this area and then have it bolted right there like well like a little piece and then bolt it right there I'm not sure um, y'all let me know uh, how would y'all put y'all bracket this is it right here like I said I could put well like a piece of metal have a bracket right there it'd be like an L-shaped bracket so I can at least hold it in place too I'm not sure. I can't wait till I put this piece on and then have it wrapped up. Oh my God, it's gonna look good. And I'm gonna have like a little air filter too so I can just tie everything in. What up bomb for my air fuel ratio gauge. Let's see how this will turn out. So we managed to get the bomb welded, which I am really surprised. Don't look the best, but it will hold for what we have to use it for. Okay, hey guys, on the one scale, one through 10, y'all let me know what y'all think. It's not perfect. Like I said, this is like my first time using this welder. This welder actually been doing pretty damn good. I'm actually surprised with it. But uh, we got everything done with this pipe. The only thing we need to do is uh, put a hole in our hood. We need to put a hole in our hood. So we can actually flush this and then cut the excess that we don't need and we will be done. And we just gotta hook up the wide band gauge and all that. I'm going to end up getting the boost gauge. I was trying to see which particular one I need to get. So I don't know if I'm gonna get that some time. Um, and yeah. So guys, these are not the perfect welds. Uh, you know, practice make perfect. Uh, especially if you keep going at it, you'll craft is going to get perfect each time um you know but anyway we had to put the o2 uh since right here i know it's supposed to be on like 30 inches or so maybe 18 if it was just like you know not turboed or anything like that 
Um, I wanted to put it right here, but it was looking a little wonky. I wanted everything like the flow just a little bit, but we got everything in its place. We made sure everything clear. Um, that was just pretty much it. Like I said, we got to do our cutout for the hood so we can uh, cut this, make it flush. And um, I think that would be pretty much it. And like I said, we need to make a brace probably towards that wall. Um, and that's pretty much it, but the truck will be looking like sick. Can't wait. Tell me what y'all think. I look crappy right now, but you know, it's just the first time build of everything. But yeah, that's it right there. And then the filter is going to cover like majority of this area, which is going to be pretty dope. So I'm gonna put a filter on here. Um, and I think that's going to be pretty much it. So we got our cooling side done. Um, we got the cold side done. Uh, we finna get the hot side done, and we need to. I need to see how I can I run the vacuum lines off the blow off valve and my wastegate uh, down here. I have my blow off valve uh, vacuum line hooked up to the intake, um, but I need to know how to hook that up. If anybody know how to do that, y'all let me know. Also need to get a fuel pressure regulator gauge. Uh, I'm gonna get a digital one. See one off of um, Amazon's like glow shift. So I'm gonna try them out. Um, also we need to get the injectors. And I think that's just pretty much it under this truck, like under the hood for right now. The only thing we have to do is just put our PCM back in, put our battery back in, and uh, I think that fan, the fan relays, uh, for the dual fan relays, we need to put them, uh, put the relays in like in a secure location. And I think that's pretty much it under here. Um, so, don't look bad. It's just, you know, a regular little bill. Um, next time we're gonna go like ham, um, take the whole motor and all that out, you know, have everything redone in a way, cut and run AC on the truck. So, uh, yeah, so just gotta get the trans cooler, change that uh, fuel pump, and also we need to change our yoke. I didn't do that yet, I could have been done that, but just never had did it. Um, and we're gonna end up doing something with the diff a little uh later not now but yeah this is pretty much it tell me what y'all think uh do y'all like how it's coming out the hood or would y'all have went out the side see i would have went out the side if i didn't have these already right here so this would have been like a little nice s shape out the hood uh which would have looked way more cleaner if you tell me like having a s form he's already got this going that way and then going out that way oh my god that would have been hard but uh like i said it's gonna be cut flush and that's just gonna be what it is what it is i mean later down the road we might just change this up and just go out the, uh, the fender i might have to get another fender and just go from there so i hope y'all enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new um returning man y'all like um uh, and hope y'all enjoyed this video it should be out tomorrow morning i'm gonna try to drop around six so if y'all looking, share, and thank y'all.